Shout out to one, Israel. Preach your cow. First and foremost, I can say all praise be to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to El is a great millstone. Rock out all you Akins out there that's pushing the truth and sincerity. True doctor. Right quick, man, get into the scripture. When you uh when you when you start learning picking up the Bible and getting into the scriptures, Revelation 22 and uh 18 and 19 is one of one of my favorite scriptures, man. Uh it's Revelation 22 and 18. It says, For I testify unto every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book, the Bible. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. So if you add it unto the book, you got to go by the words in this book. They are true. If you add unto it, the Lord says, he will add unto you the plagues that are written in, in this book. And we have, you know, like people like, uh, the uh, learned elders of Zion, you know, people like the Bible Destruction Group, we know the men of the Lord, we know that they have tampered with this book. You know, in the Bible, it was meant to be heard and obeyed, you know? And anybody that tampers with the words of these scriptures, in the end, ultimately, the Lord, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna have a strict punishment for you. And that's gonna be your end, is punishment, right? Uh, verse 19 and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of the, this prophecy God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things that are written of in this book this is self-explanatory so when you read the bible man you read this bible precept on precept these these precepts are true when, when, in these scriptures because a lot of you like to go out of your own heart how you feel and, and things you've been taught uh, in your in your in your churches, man. You don't research out the scriptures. Uh, this is Proverbs, Proverbs thirty and five and six. Every word of the Most High is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. It says every word of God is pure. When something is pure, man, that means it's being like refined, you know? It's being tested. It's being proven to be true. And we know these scriptures are proven to be true. Because when you read the Bible, they have the prophecies that came to pass. And we and that's and, and, and when we read those, that gives us faith to know that the prophecies that's in the future, they're gonna happen. Because a lot of people don't believe it. I mean, you it's point blank, you know. Like one prophecy is the nation of Israel, we was gonna go into captivity into slavery, man. Deuteronomy 2868. You know, and, th and that's just one promise of many. You know, a lot of people don't believe it, you know. It says, verse 6, Add thy not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou shalt be found a liar. So if you add unto the words of taken away, man, you're a liar. And like I just said, man, a lot of people don't believe in the words of the Lord. They go off their own, their own opinions and own vain heart, man. Uh, let's get one more uh, and we close out just a short quick lesson man I only meant to bring out one scripture but hey that's how the most high works man this is Romans 3 and 3 it says for what if some do not believe because some of you don't believe man two thirds not going to believe the words of this Bible it said, for what if some do not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar as it is written. So just because you don't believe, that don't mean that the Lord, the Lord ain't gonna uh, make these prophecies of this Bible happen, man. He's still gonna do what he, what he promised, that he said he was gonna do in, in, in this book of the law, man. So whether you believe or not, it's still gonna happen. To the one third, stay up. All praises be to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to our elders. Rock a thought, all you Akims out there that's pushing this truth and sincerity and true doctrine, man. Shalom, Israel. Appreciate you, Cal.